I'm John Vores near Tiananmen Square. This is about as close as we can get to the square because these plainclothes officers are using their umbrellas to try and stop our view so that we cannot actually do any videotaping here. There is an incredible security presence here on the eve of the 20th anniversary. There are so many police and soldiers. These plainclothes, are you rolling? These plainclothes officials are using these umbrellas here to block our view whenever we try and do any videotaping anywhere near the square. They also are carrying these walkie-talkies right there. That gentleman has a walkie-talkie. So does this other gentleman here. Authorities are also rounding up dissidents. Many, they say, according to some reports, in fact, have been sent out of town. Others have been detained. University students, too, have also been warned to watch what they say. And there is also heavy security around many of the schools at some of the bigger campuses here in Beijing. And right now, as you can see, these officials continually blocking our view to try and stop us from filing any kind of report from Tiananmen Square. Information controls are also being stepped up. I'm Emily Chang at an internet cafe in Beijing where people are suddenly having trouble logging on to different websites. Twitter, the popular microblogging website, has apparently been blocked. If you try to pull it up, you get this error message saying the page cannot be reached. Hotmail and Flickr, a photo sharing website, are also not working and YouTube has been blocked since March. The Chinese government doesn't comment on specific internet issues but has said it manages the internet according to law. Now international TV channels are also being censored. CNN reports on the Tiananmen crackdown have been repeatedly blacked out. Well Thursday marks the 20th anniversary of the Tiananmen Square Chinese officials have declined to comment on these latest service interruptions. Last year, CNN coverage of protests in Tibet was also blacked out, but it hasn't happened again until now as China reaches this sensitive anniversary.